APB is, for me, it's a unique blend of creativity and conflict. It's, it's online fun. It's basically bringing players together in a very unique, persistent online world and has everything from small-scale battles up to huge, large-scale, the epic battles. Frantic action. Uh, APB is really about that uh, core action game of responding and, and initiating conflict. Lots of fast action, car chases, shootouts. Uh, pretty intense. Conflict and self-expression, really. Um, you know, all the good stuff that we like in the online space, pretty much. It's very fluid, uh, very, yeah, it's very different. You're never really sure what you're going to get next. It's all about seeing amazing things you never see from day to day. So unique players, unique vehicles. It's kind of a, a unique action game with amazing creativity in terms of tools we give to players. Customization is a really big part of APB. It lets players express exactly what they're feeling. It lets them show the other players uh, either aggression or maybe something funny. The reason we gave players so much customization is for the first time we actually wanted them to be able to make their own game character. One that is completely unique to anybody else. So, you know, the friends, anybody could recognize them just by looking at them, not by the fact they have to have a name played above their head. It's just astonishing, kind of the level of complexity and variety that you can get out of it now. Like, because you've got the vehicle tools there, you've got the symbol editors, you can, you can turn that stuff into graffiti, tattoos, you know what I mean? You can plaster that stuff up on the billboards in the districts if you want to. Uh, it, there's just so many outlets for it, you know, you, you won't be bored. So we have three play areas. We have two action districts, the uh, financial district we call Haviland, which is very closed in, very downtown feeling, not a lot of open vistas, but lots of really close in gameplay. And then we have the waterfront, which is more of a tourist district, a lot more open vistas, a lot more uh, beautiful scenery, uh, a lot more idyllic, but of course with the uh, action backdrop going on. In the social district, it's relaxing. It, it's really just taking a break from the action. So there you can shop, you can customize, you can show off what you're doing, things like that. As a criminal, you've got a lot of things you can do. You can go and steal cars and take them to chop shops for some quick cash. You can do sort of smash and grabs at the stores. Uh, you can mug other, you know, the pedestrians that are running around in the streets. As an enforcer, it really means uh, patrolling the city, witnessing criminals in the act and trying to stop it. If you're a criminal and you're stealing cars, after a certain amount of time, enforcers will be dispatched against you, so it works both ways. The unexpected sort of variety in, in terms of how missions pan out. I think people are going to really dig that. And, you know, you can get some really exciting chases going on. You know, when you suddenly have to escape, you've got the loot, whatever, and now there's loads of people after you, and you've got to get out of there. That's, that's always really exciting. You kind of get that little kick of adrenaline, like, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Oh, no, they're shooting at us. When you bring real people into equations, like them always being their opposition in, in a mission, because you never know who you're going to be up against, what kind of mood they're in, how many of them there are, what's their skill level. You get tremendous variety every single time you play BB. And you just get this just massive bang in the middle <laughs> where, where everybody's sort of got their own agenda and, you know, you're trying to push yours and, you know, with varying degrees of success, obviously. You really have to sort of adapt to the situation a lot. What I'm really looking forward to seeing what players do is, first of all, the creations that they make, whether it's you know, amazing characters, clans, vehicles, music. Um, but secondly, how, how they use the game in, in ways we've never thought about. So even examples right now from beta where we see players who are trying to take a picture of arresting every single criminal player that exists. So just very cool things we haven't thought of that, that players will find and, and use the game for. It, I haven't seen it before. Uh, certainly never to this kind of 
complexity. And I, I just think that's going to be huge. I think people are going to love that. Sound of that. Like the sound of that. 